welcome back to my channel. This is Naturally Yola TV, and this is my podcast, Yola Talks A Lot. For those who are new, my name is Yola. I am a speaker, a teacher, and content creator. If you'd like to get in contact with me or like to see more of me, you can follow me on my Instagram at Naturally Yola, or you can follow me at TikTok at Naturally Yola. The name will be down here. So once again, I am back with another video. And in today's video, I will be speaking about your pain being power. Your pain is power. Do whatever it is that you love, because the truth is, no matter what you do in this world, you will experience pain. I had to learn that it hurts to grow and change, but it also hurts to stay the same. The best of the two is to grow. Get out your comfort zone, because I promise that there is a lot more life out in this world for you to live. Personally, in my life, I got tired of repeating the same pattern with the same people and hopelessly hoping that one day they would change and things would get better if I kept waiting. Sitting around and waiting was painful. I was playing a losing game because most people don't change and it doesn't take that long to realize it. By no means am I saying that people can't become better or change, but that only happen on their time when they are ready. You are not required to sit around and wait for that possibility. I was very stubborn. I got used to the pain that I endured. I grew numb and began to think it was normal. I had sorry relationships where I was often treated as an outcast. And I stayed around people who constantly tried to stop me from being me. You're being dramatic, is what they'd say. You're too sassy, too fierce, doing too much. Why are you like this? Why can't you be like, why do you always have something to say? Or they guilt trip me by saying that I've hurt them somehow, which in turn would result in me feeling like I should do more because I owe them for the pain that I've caused. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you don't owe anyone anything. In fact, you owe it to yourself to remove those people and to grow. You owe it to yourself to reach past your old limitations and expand. I had years of pain that I had to heal. And frankly, it's still a work in progress. But nonetheless, I've healed a lot. There are many days where I cried and went on walks outside to clear my head and reminded myself that there's so much more out in this world outside of the experiences that I've had. I started trying to deal with my pain by flying away from my problems and starting over. That was the first step that I took to change my surroundings and it helped change my perspective. I went to Florida. There, I had a lot of experiences where I was shown different examples of ways that black people my age were living. It's on that trip that I was able to meet someone whose lifestyle was similar to what I envisioned my future looking like. She had her own car, house, friends, partner, routine, and she was humble. I started thinking, if she could do it, I could do it. I recall her telling me about the inconveniences of her life and that, the inconveniences, being the fuel that led her to leveling up. She used her pain as power to push herself to reach the goals she wanted. She was like a breath of fresh air to me. She pointed out things that I did well and wasn't negative. She helped me believe that there was better. She was actually that example. I saw that there was better because she was doing better, which meant I could do better. But I'm gonna continue reading now. A year and a half later, here I am today, to the state where my pain is my power. My pain has always been my power. My pain is what pushes me to speak and teach others about what I've learned. My pain is what led me to accepting all parts of myself that people try to have me dismiss. My pain enables me to help other people because I've been down. I've taken the hits and the punches and I accepted my pain and now I'm in my power. My power is my voice, the knowledge I possess, my hunger for more, my creativity and me being. My power is me showing up against all odds as me. Then standing with me, loving on me, while I heal past my prior experiences. My message today is to use your pain as your power. You are powerful. 
And the reason that I know that is people only mess with those who they see as somebody. If you weren't powerful, then people wouldn't be so adamant on trying to render you powerless. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Please leave comments down below on any topics that you'd like me to speak about or if you'd like me to expand on the last two videos that I've done. I will be back for episode three of Yola Talks A Lot. Please feel free to subscribe and join the gang. You feel me? I love you and I'm out. Peace. I have come to the conclusion that season one of my podcast will be me speaking on certain topics, but like focusing on the main, uh, so basically season one is going to be me speaking on various topics that I feel passionate about where I can help people and spreading a message that I feel like will help. If you guys are enjoying these videos, if you're enjoying what I'm saying and you would like me to expand, I'll happily do that in season two. But right now I'll be bouncing around and speaking about different topics and stating my point of view, how I feel, what I've learned, and motivating you guys to become your best selves, to become better. Because I'm so happy that I'm better than I used to be. Recording live, it's Yola Talks A Lot. <laughs> so, I think it's a pattern. Every time I'm about to record, I need to do something. Today's snack, applesauce. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.